Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and welcome to my new build. So today I got a Prezi from my friend in Ireland. Thank you very much, Gary. What is it? I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the bottom. That's why. <gasps> That is what I've got. I've got a wing up wings. Woohoo! That is nice. Thank you so very, very much, Gary. Appreciate it so much. And thank you, Julie. Right. Let's move into the Mag Cave and we'll do an unboxing. Right. Here we are, folks. We've moved to the Man Cave. Teddy's with us for the unboxing of Wingnut Wings 5F.1 Dolphin. Oh, just crushed Teddy. Sorry, Teddy. There we go. This was a present from Gary. You know who you are, young man. Thank you very much. This is an amazing gift from him and his partner, Julie. Really, really appreciate this. This, this I'm just gobsmacked. Absolutely gobsmacked. So, let's crack on. The box art is really nice you have all the different ones there Royal Naval Air Service Saad RAF RAF and RAF gives you some blurb on the side as well box art the sides are the same as the top and then you've got a few different languages there, just telling you what it is. So, there's the engine. There's the decals. The famous booklet. And there's the screws. So, let's start with the decals. Also in here, you get some edge brass, seat belts, uh, gun sights, pedals, and some connectors for, I think they're the ailerons. We shall find out in a minute. So let's... Gently, gently. So, yeah, as you know, with my previous build, uh, previous build, uh, the build that comes after this, my pocket dry decker, these PE parts are not like the men ones. So, I'm probably going to have to put some tape on the back. Yep, there's no tape on that. So, Tape will go on there. Stop them springing out and disappearing. Oh, those decals look amazing. Very, very little carrier film on that. As you can see, that is just awesome. Awesome. What I tend to do with this, just make sure I've got it. Yep, is I have some prepared here. Masking tape. Little nip there. Little nip there. A couple of pieces. And then square that up. one on there and then just bend it over that way it stops the cover falling off so they're nice and secure now so we shall pop those away back in the bag Oh, 
all this paper I keep. You never know when it's going to come in useful for tracing something. So, there's the decals. Right. Dun, dun, dun. As usual, gives you a load of bump about the dolphin, how it came about, how much, how many were made, wingspan length, maximum weight, speed, altitude, etc., etc. This could climb 21,000 feet ceiling, six and a half, nearly six and a half kilometers up. You got your paint call out, so it's got Tamiya, Humbrol, and then the Federal Standard. And this is quite nice to see because there's some mixing here, but not there. So I might just go and splash out on some Humbrol for this. Your parts layout, photo etch, decals, sprues, and the bits that aren't used. And it's got all your layouts, bits to be removed, the engine, then it gives you a coloured part for the engine which is a Hispano Sousa V8 called the Hisso and your instrument panel, your guns, how the layouts or the framework go in and then you've got your colour call out there, what colours are what, how they're done. There's all your rigging, gives you your rigging lines, not supplied. This is going to be so much fun to build. So, so, so much fun. It's going to be hard. There's lots of rigging, lots and lots and lots of rigging, lots of drilling as well, as you can see there, one mil, one mil, and I believe it said to do is 0.5 mil, some of the other stuff, it does say somewhere, I can't remember where it was when you do the rigging, is to pre-drill the holes, there you go, 0.5 mil. anchoring, little bombs, there's the rest of your rigging lines, RAF aerodynamic wires, they're going to be interesting, rigging guide and then we get down to the colour call outs And all the different bits and pieces it, it, it it's so well detailed and so well researched it's, these are just absolutely unbelievable and I'll be honest with you I'd never heard of the dolphin until this and it there was quite a few it says there's something like about 1800 dolphins originally made nearly 18, 1800 dolphins were built by the Sopwith Aviation Company Limited, Hooper and Company Limited and the Dirac Motor Co Engineering Company Limited. So there's your destructions. Right, let's get on to the uh, the bag. So, there's the engine part. Let's clean the uh, Oh, what was that that just dropped on the floor? There we go. Ooh, can't lose those. Clear plastic. So here's the different bits. Three sprues. Let's put those to one side. And start. Let's start with the clear plastic for a change. Wrapping around them. 
keep them protected, which will just gently slide off. But that looking nice and clear, as you'd expect from wing up wings. Engine. Oh, nicely detailed, as you can see. I'm sure, we can add a bit of extra detail to that, but that is looking lovely. So that will be the first bit that to be built. Get the engine done, sorted, and uh, ready to go in. As you can see, it's all so crisp, so well made. Um, we've got a few marks on the inside, the uh, extrusion points. But hopefully those won't be seen. And if they are, when we do a film test fittings, then we can just get them out. Really nice feel to the plastic. This very, feels very much like dragon plastic. Stress skin there, and on the back there, with all the bands and the raised rivets. Very, very, very little flash. Yeah, that is lovely. That one is. So we'll pop that one away. This will. All depends how quick I can get the eagle done. So I'm actually halfway through the eagle at the moment. While I'm doing this one, so very gently. Let's make sure there's no parts left in the bag. No. Nope. So. There we go. There's the seat. Lovely detail on these, absolutely lovely details. Couple of Lewis machine guns there. Two more there. Not sure whether I'll have the Lewis's on this, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We've got the ones for those. I can never remember which ones they are, but oh, yep, yeah, all lovely. Not sure if that is flash or not. Just there. And there. It's looking like flash. Oh my giddy up. Flash on a wing that wins? What's going on here? Can't have that. Have to check that part. There's little bombs. Stowage for the guns. Instrument panel. Wheels, inserts. There's the wicker seat. Need a bit of cleaning up. That looks nice. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to doing this one. Pop that one away. And then finally, the wings. Oh, look at that stretched. And the mould, that's going to be interesting to do. They've moulded the uh, rigging in. So that may have to come off. And I may have to redo that with some... You can just about see it there. There you go. 
that's what I'm going to have to redo probably. Take that off and use a bit, bit of uh, really fine fishing line. Should go in there. Nice stress marks on there. All the rivet lines. Yeah, that, that is looking absolutely fantastic. Yep, can't wait to crack on with this. That is going to be so much fun. So, there you have it. The Sopwith F 5F.1 Dolphin from Wing Not Wings in 1.30 second scale. Let's crack on. There we go, that's my new build, Wingnut Wings Dolphin, which I am really looking forward to. So come back for episode two when I start building this little tinker. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember, stay safe, keep on modelling.